In this video, we're going to analyze the effects of transactions using the accounting cycle, which I introduced in the previous videos. If you haven't watched the videos on the accounting cycle, please make sure you do so so that you can follow along. We're focusing on the Statement of Financial Position accounts. We'll deal with accounts from the Statement of Earnings, also called the Income Statement, in a future video. As always, the first thing you do is read the question. Green Company Inc. was organized by Chris Green and five other investors. The following events occurred during the year, their first year of operations. That's important information. I'm not going to read all the transactions. I'm going to go to the bottom and see the required. Prepare the journal entries for each transaction and post to the T-accounts. If an event does not require a journal entry, explain the reason. Hint, opening balances for the T-accounts are zero as this is a new company, which is exactly right. As always, let's start by looking at the accounting equation flowchart. If you haven't watched my videos on the secret of debits and credits in the accounting cycle, you probably don't realize what we're doing. Please make sure you watch those videos first. Now that we have this, we have everything necessary in order to analyze the transactions using the steps. Step one is to read the business activity and determine if it's an event or a transaction. Receive $71,100 cash from the investors. Each was issued 1,580 shares. Is this an event or a transaction? There has been an exchange between two parties, the company and the shareholders, that is both realized and measurable. Realized because it happened between the company and the investors, and measurable because we have the dollar amount. Step 2. Analyze the impact of the transaction using the activity analysis questions and the financial reporting elements. Start with the critical questions. What did the business get? The business got cash of $71,100. That's an asset because it has future economic benefit. Assets increased. What did the company give away? They gave away ownership in the company. Equity in the form of issued shares. Equity increases. Step 3. Choose the account names. Cash is what we received. Contributed capital is the representation of what was given away. Step 4. Record the transaction into the T accounts. Assets always increase on the left because assets are on the left hand side of the equal sign. $71,100. Contributed capital increases on the right hand side. Why? Because equity is on the right hand side of the equal sign. Step 5. Record it in the general journal. The date is unknown, so we use the indicator. Always list debits first. Then list the credits and indent them. Moving on to the next entry. Purchased equipment for use in the business at a cost of $19,600. One fourth was paid in cash, and the company signed a note for the balance, payable in six months, at 0% interest. 19,600 times 0.25 is equal to $4,900. The remainder is 19,600 minus the 4,900, which is 14,700. Almost forgot. Is this an event or a transaction? There's an exchange between two parties, so this is a transaction and it must be recorded in the accounting records. What did the company get? They got equipment that has future economic benefit. That's an asset. Assets increase. What did they give away? They gave away some cash, so one of our assets are going to decrease because it no longer has future economic benefit. What else did they give away? They gave away an IOU, a liability indicating that the company will pay in the future. What account names should we use? We already have cash. We add equipment. And we also add a short-term note payable. Record the entry into the T account. Equipment is increased by 19600 because that's the total value of the equipment moving forward, and that has future economic benefit. Cash is decreased by the amount we paid out, $4,900. Notice that the decrease in cash is recorded on the credit side. Why? Because if debits increase assets, then it's automatic that credits, the opposite, will decrease assets. Finally, we increase notes payable by $14,700. Liabilities are on the right-hand side of the equal sign, so the note payable is always increased on the credit side. Note payables are increased because we owe third parties more. 
let's journalize this entry. You'll notice I neglected something here. The explanation. I didn't realize that. My apologies. Let's move on to B. First we record the debits. Then we record the credits. Then finally the explanation. Let's move on to the next item. Signed an agreement with a cleaning service to pay $380 at the end of every week for cleaning the corporate offices. What did the business get? Nothing. What did the business give away? Nothing. This is going to happen in the future. It is measurable, $380, but it hasn't been realized, so no entry. Notice you have to enter no entry on a test, midterm, quiz, or exam. That's because I can't tell if you missed the entry because you didn't know how to deal with it or because you knew that there was no entry. Therefore, always enter no entry. In a true accounting system, we would simply do nothing. But on a test, midterm, exam, quiz, put down no entry so I can see your thought process. Moving on. Lent $4,300 to one of the investors who signed a note due in six months at 0% interest. Is that an event or a transaction? There was an exchange between two parties. It's realized and it's measurable. This is a transaction and must be recorded. What did the company get? They got an IOU from an investor. A legal right to collect cash from the investor in the future. That is a note receivable. What did the company give away? They gave away cash to the investor. Cash decreases. Notice that I've combined step number two and step number three, using the critical and enhancing questions in order to analyze the impact on the elements and then determining the account name. Let's now record it in the T accounts. Notes receivable increase because we have a legal right to collect cash from the investor. Cash decreases because we gave away cash to the investor. Let's journalize this transaction. Debit note receivable. Credit cash. Explanation. Moving on. Issued shares to additional investors who contributed $7,800 in cash and land valued at $160,800. Event or transaction? It's a transaction because it's realized, we've issued the shares, and it's measurable. $7,800 and 160,800. Moving on to step two and three. What did the business get? They got both cash and land. Both are assets because they have future economic benefit. What did the company give away? They gave away more ownership in the company, which is represented by contributed capital. Let's post it to the T accounts. Cash increased by $7,800. Land increased by 160,800. Contributed capital increased by the combination of these two amounts, 168600 Let's journalize the transaction. Debit cash, 7800 Debit land, 160800 Credit contributed capital, 168600 Explanation. On to the next transaction. Paid the amount of the note payable in B. Paid is past tense. The amount is in B, 14700 This is a transaction. Let's analyze it. What did the business get? They got back their note payable. Remember, they gave the IOU to the bank that loaned the money. Now they're getting back their IOU, so liabilities will go down because they won't owe the bank anything anymore. What did they give away? They gave away cash. Cash will reduce by $14,700. Let's post the transaction. Note payable reduces $14,700. Cash reduces by $14,700. Let's record it in the general journal. Debit the note payable because the note payable reduces and liability accounts always reduce through a debit. Reduction of cash, which is a credit. Explanation. Moving on. Chris Green borrowed $11,800 for personal use from a local bank and signed a note which is payable in one year. What did the business get? The business got nothing. Chris is an investor in the business and this appears to be a personal transaction between Chris and the bank. Therefore, the business got nothing and it gave nothing away. This is an event. 
not a transaction. Remember, for all events, indicate no entry. We'll continue with this question in the next video.